Arsenal awesome fan year, TV man. DT. Um, oof. late at night, isn't it? <laughs> it's yeah. a late one today. Yeah. I mean, uh, what did you make of it tonight? We got off to a pretty awful start. It was pretty yeah. poor in the first half, but in the second half, the quality of Arsenal showed through. And Alexis Sanchez, what a goal by him! Yeah, were the people that were booing him singing his name tonight? Yeah, <laughs> that'd be uh, interesting, wouldn't it? Listen, first half we were shit. Simple as that. We were poor. Um, different set of players, same kind of football, which was sideways, sideways and boring. Mm. Giroud's up front and no one's bothering trying to put a um, mm. uh, cross in a box. And then second half, yeah, we woke up, we put Kalazanac on. Um, so it was a natural left-sided yeah. player and it yeah. brought a bit more balance to the side. Got the equaliser and I felt, yeah, it'd be a matter of time. Alexis, mm. wow, what a goal. And then, yeah, they kind of flattened from there really and mm. the, the class told. So. We're off to winning ways in the Europa League, but we've got mm. bigger things to worry about. What, what, what did you make of it for a year? Because, you know what, it was quite um, quite an entertaining game. We took it yeah. pretty serious. We had to take it serious because they really came and yeah. gave it some. Well, we've come and um, livened up the Europa League, haven't we? You know, it's <laughs> taken us to drop down to show them how it's all done. So, But, mm. no, do you know what? The, the, I thought the Cologne fans, it was brilliant with the atmosphere side of things. But at yeah. the same time, I think that there's a lot of questions need answering. Um, by the police, by club officials. Um, as what questions to, uh, those? About how many uh, Cologne fans were in our end, how they yeah. got in our end. Um, one of the biggest problems are the ticket touts. Um, they're there every single home game outside the train station. I don't care who I upset. Um, but they're there openly selling tickets. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it was something that was meant to be clamped down on. But the police don't do nothing about it. The club like, are doing when nothing. You think, when you think about it, you know, listen, the, the Cologne fans were quite good natured. Mm. The Arsenal fans were all right, but it could have been on another night. Mm. It could have got really nasty in here because yeah. there was loads of loads and loads of Cologne fans in other areas of the ground. Yeah, of course. And that means as well that there's a lot of fans that have sold their tickets to yeah. Cologne fans. Yeah, and it'd be interesting to find out whether the club can find out what's going on with that. I said to you in an interview a while ago that I think that having the junior gunners nice. next to the away fans is wrong anyway. Mm. Um, and it was the Cologne fans, that was the section the Cologne fans took over where the junior gunners are. I got my six-year-old with me tonight mm. and it's just like, you know, people, uh, one guy that bought his daughter for the first time and he was like, wow, is this, mm. you know, when they first came in and they were on the arse side they were jumping the barriers to try and get into the Cologne end and fighting with the stewards mm. now the stewards they had no police presence nothing before the you know the response turned up it's not their job to be doing that and yeah. fighting people in it they had to just let them go and mm. they were getting punches rained down on them and everything so for them Cologne fans that were causing that they're nothing but dickheads mm. and there was one around me and he was quiet as anything never said anything was respectful for the fact of where he was and he was like, I'm embarrassed mm. by those fans that have caused the problems. And then look what happened outside. Mm. The reason why the game was delayed by an hour. So what are UEFA going to do about that? Are we going to be punished as a club for that? Even though we're not the fans responsible, mm. we're still the club that's holding the event. So mm. you know what happens? Are they going to sanction us? You know, they'll probably ban all English teams from Europe because of it. <laughs> One last thing. Would you start Alexis on Sunday? All day. All day yeah. long. He's a world-class player. Why would you not start a world-class player? I am a little bit doubtful with the fact he played 90 minutes, but then I look at the situation and I say he hasn't played a lot. He could play again on Sunday. He won't play next Wednesday against Doncaster. And then we're not playing next weekend. We don't have a game till Monday. Mm. So effectively, he will get about an eight days rest. So start. I'll start him. We've got to go to Chelsea and we've got to put performance in, Robbie. And let's walk away from there with a bit of pride and our heads held high. Okay.